But yeah, it is kind of sketchy that it's so close to the road because you'd, you'd wonder if people just want to like contaminate this water with their own urine or something. Even if they did do that, the water flows. And it's still probably a lot better than we put in our bodies anyways on a regular basis. And for those breatharians out there that are drinking their own urine, you're already on track. I didn't know you guys were coming in, but how's it going? <laughs> My name's Jake Freed. <laughs> what are we doing? We're, uh, I don't know, what are we doing? We're returning your a DVD. We're returning a movie. I don't know, when was the last time you guys rented a movie, but shouts out to, to movie rentals. We are going to grab some food. What are we doing after that? Doing an ice bath? I haven't had an ice bath since December, yo. My legs are numb. We're going to the library to print some, some dream building stuff to start building our dreams. So on another note, I do like this truck a lot. Good old Toyota. I do want to get a Toyota one day. Um, anyways, so as we do a walk and talk here. Oh yeah, here's the water right here. Um, anyways. We didn't get the sign before. Either. Oh yeah, I did want to get a shot of the sign last time because we forgot. Oh yeah. Welcome. So we are at Lynn Valley Headwaters, Lynn, Lynn Valley something. We're here to get some fresh water. Jake has not had the experience of seeing the fresh water before. We got our BPA free jug and we got our bottle of water that fills the BPA free jug. Anyways, Jake, how are you feeling? Feeling really good. Got the BPA free jug and uh, ready to fill up on some nice, beautiful BC spring water. And those are my pants. Okay. Cheers. Well, do you know where the water is? I can hear it. So we, we gotta follow the sound, I guess. It sounds like it's coming from over here. From over here? Is that where we're headed? Nope. Oh, oh no, I hear some right now. Hear that? This is where we're filling up? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, well it looks clean, so let's go. We submerge the bottle right from the source and we dump right in the bottle. But honestly, yeah, this is the best water I ever had. And what's fun too is the more I do this, the more people walk past me think I'm super weird or have a good conversation with me and then they try the water too and that's a lot of fun. Or you meet people that are also here trying to pour some water um, into their gullets, which is good. So now is it flowing from... Oh, I see what's happening here. And just like that, we are full. Feeling real confident now with the mountain water. How's it taste? It tastes incredible and it's cold. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. Yep, so that was the sign. Uh, surface water may be contaminated with pollutants, bacteria, viruses, or prosozia at any time. Anyway, here we are. Uh, we're going to dip into the water. I don't think you guys have ever seen this water before, but I sure have. I brought the good old duffel uh, that is half closed because we want to just get in and get out while our mind is good. We did absolutely zero breath work going into this. We're going to see how that goes. The terrain that we'll be sitting on is very rocky uh, and maybe jagged and sharp. Might not be too comfortable, but I don't want to put that in my reality here as I say that. It's going to be very comfortable. I'm excited. I haven't done an ice bath uh, probably since March and I'm looking forward to it. It's now October. You can't really do ice baths in the summer, but that's a limiting belief because you just have to buy a lot of ice and there's been a lot of things happening lately and I have not had the ability to buy lots of ice or have a tub because my landlord kicked me out basically for having the tub. Uh, and I don't have a freezer big enough to hold all the ice or during the Ontario heat storms um, bringing the ice safely to a bathtub in time. Anyways, that is my spiel. I don't know if I'm gonna put any of that in there. Jake wants uh, me to put a note here saying uh, how far we are walking to get to the destination of the ice bath. Well, yeah, the walk back after the ice bath, you'll see what we have to endure, but it will be a good set of stairs and about a five minute walk. Jake has nothing to be concerned about. Jake is a professional. So here we are approaching the stairs. These stairs, like even touching the wood is pretty chilly. I'm already pretty chilly. Oh, but the one thing I, I did want to work on, I have this like pinched nerve in my neck and shoulder on my right side here, and I want to see if uh, the cold exposure will straighten that out for me and make it feel better, because it absolutely sucks. It's one of those spots that you can't really reach, and then if you do like a roller bar or something, it doesn't hit the spot nicely, like it, it doesn't really do much. It just kind of sucks. Most of any pain and suffering goes away pretty darn quick. You just have to endure the cold pain and suffering. Anyway, let's get some of Jake's thoughts. Like, what is this? Three, four, five, six. Like 60, 75 stairs, and then like a five minute walk back to the car. As we're soaking wet and freezing. I don't know about Evan, but I don't have any shoes to wear after this either. Except for the ones I'm wearing, but uh, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work because the shoes might come with me into the water, so. Are you kidding? Dude, it's all rocky. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, an adventure. You see what I'm saying, guys? Like, look at this. Okay. All right, we made it down here. Okay. So these 
are the rushing waters of the ice bath. It is very cold, for those of you wondering. I haven't even put my hand in there, but from what I remember from last time, geez louise, feels good though. So scoping this out, that looks like a good spot to chill. This you could probably lay down right here. I haven't really checked out over here too much either. This is a little nice walkout spot, but it does get really deep right in between these two big ones. So if you're going barefoot, man, I'd be careful. Do you have socks? Maybe wear your socks while you go in. No, I'm going straight bare. You're going straight bare, eh? Okay. If the current did end up taking you away, you're not going too far. It looks very, very rocky over here over yonder up there. I haven't touched the water yet. Jake is about to touch the water right now. How do you feel about the water touch? It's bath water. Yeah, I found this. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, that was the extra towel. It's in the bathroom, dude. I could have used it fucking a week ago. Jeez. I just found it like two days ago. Where was it sitting? It was in one of the drawers. No way. Yeah, I just went through the drawers quick. And I was like, I wonder if there's a fucking towel in here. Boom, found one. Yeah, so Molly brought that towel and she left it. So shout out to Molly for leaving her stuff at my place. Hey, I'm Molly. <laughs> She's back in Ontario now. Uh, but it's clean and washed. And now it's on Jake's body. And now it's on a mossy rock. Okay. I'm wearing my socks going in. Why? Dude, the dude, socks dude. are protecting nothing. There's rocks, bro. It's not like straight skin contact. Dude, the are water on the rock. I'm going barefoot, I'm man. Going socks, the socks bro. is an illusion. It's like wearing a mask in the grocery store. <laughs> so the whole point of this is to not get stuck in the mind. Because, like, right now, I'm. There's a lot of oh fucks going on right now. And, uh, it's just water. And Evan and I have both done a lot worse. No! Okay, so the battery is flashing red. Uh, already feeling cold. We're gonna listen to our bodies. I don't know how much of this we're gonna actually get on camera. I might have to resort to the cell phone after this. Wish us luck. It is. I'm feeling it. It's more real right now, but staying calm because it's all about our mindset. Jake has the socks on. I thought he wasn't gonna keep them on, but they are definitely staying on. I kind of want to see where he's. <laughs> right from Jake Reed, the Iceman himself. The bath water. Dude, this is so cold, man. <laughs> I mean, it's not. I mean, it's warm. It's just breath. I'm a tough guy. I do breath work. It's nothing. That's not how they're supposed to act. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I know I'm gonna be next. Oh my God, why am I making it so bad? I think this is all you're getting. Really? You're not gonna get up to the shoulder? I should. We got an audience member up there watching us. Oh, it's true. Yeah, Jake's got his phone up. Jake's got his phone up here. Oh, we got a dude watching us. Yo, hop in there, buddy. Nuts in. He's getting taken down the curb. It's good. Break brings, through? Brings back old memories. Like, what, a, what an actor, man. It gets bad, but you just gotta go past the bad, and then you just break through. Oh, oh yeah, my foot's touching right now. Congratulations, Jake. Thank you, brother. Oh, let's get it. Oh my god, dude. Are you awake? Oh, that was great. That's how you should wake up every morning. I think a big thing of film, like filming yourself and watching that whole like dance of resistance will really like empower yourself to watch yourself doing that. Yeah. So thank you for capturing that. Oh, you're welcome, dude. 
Once you actually get in, it's on. It's just like normal ice fight. It's not that bad, but like if you stand in there like I did, you're just gonna make it worse on yourself. Yeah. Get in as quick as you can. I'm I'm not bad. Let me try off and I can hold it for you. Okay. I thought for sure I'd be freaking shake city. Socks were a good call. Yeah, it's definitely wear those in. Wear them in? Yeah, because you can't tell what level is what when you're walking, and it's like sketchy, and some of it's sharper than others. Okay. I would wear them in if I were you. Like honestly. Last words before going in. Flippy Flappy's coming off. <laughs> Wild man. Oh yeah, that's kind of sharp. Oh yeah. Okay. Flippy Flappy's going on. <laughs> flippy Flappy's staying on. Honestly though, I feel like I'm gonna lose the Flippy Flappy to the current. No, no, no. You're good. Well, after watching you do that too, I don't know. Flippy Flappy's off. I gotta stay. I gotta have integrity. What are the four agreements, Jake? Integrity has gotta be one. <laughs> Take of Flippy Floppy's off is number one. <laughs> Take Flippy Floppy's off as number one. Well, you know, it's not bad. It's like bath water. Okay, I like this rock here. This is, uh, it gets colder as you go in. I know, dude. Holy crap! I think I feel the rock that you threw in earlier. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting lightheaded. <laughs> Maybe don't push it then. Wow. <laughs> Confused. Why? What's up? <laughs> I feel light, but I feel okay. But I feel light. Just don't push it. Gotta get that shoulder in. Lean back. <laughs> I'm like stopping myself with one foot. I know. The other I, foot's up. I know. It's powerful. <sighs> yeah, it's not bad. Just being a baby. We got the breakthrough, I just, I feel light for some reason, so. Yeah, yeah. This is what we do, we don't push our limits in, uh... Yeah, for the first one in a little bit. I was getting, like, blackout light I think part of it, too... Like, I'm fine, Mom, I'm fine. I think part of it, too, is I just haven't had anything to eat yet. I only had, like, a protein shake. I've been trying to stay light. I think that probably had something to do with it, but I don't know. Overall, I feel good. But Jake will say that the alkaline diet, you got to be light anyways. I just got to get back into the swing of it. Feels good. That one you couldn't feel your feet would suck. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> it was not as bad as I thought. Yeah, it was awesome. It was yeah. rejuvenating. The rocks were still a little sharp. How do you feel about the stairs? Right now, I can feel my feet. Like I'm moving around, so I feel fine. The moving water made it cold though, that's for sure. <laughs> Honestly, the walk isn't that bad. No, it's not. It's like a August mid-afternoon day. That's one of the weirdest things about the ice bath is like when you do come out, you're not like, you as know? As long as you break through. As long as you break through, yeah. You gotta, you gotta stay in it for a little bit. No, I feel great. I actually love it. And my neck pain's gone. Shoulder pain's gone. Hopefully that stays. I've been living with that the past like week. If you guys are ever sore, you got a pinched nerve, you can't reach it, it's not going away, just friggin' hop on in some ice or some cold. Some cold is the, the main thing. Yeah, the car is just up here. We got some nice misty, cloudy fog. We got the nice rain on the ground. The air is fresh. And other than that, I think we made it. In the car, we decided to turn the heat up all the way, put the heated seats on all the way, have the fan on all the way. So we're gonna get absolutely blasted when we get in the car, but it is completely unnecessary. That was just a, a false fear that we had. What's that called? But you're putting a fear in place that is in the future that you have even met with. Ooh. You know? Yeah. I don't know if there's a life lesson there, but don't let a fear hold you back. I don't know. Anyways, pursue what you love. <laughs> Stay minty. We're in BC. So there's people over here that are getting the water. Good afternoon. How long have you guys been getting water here? Uh, 2011. Really? Yeah. And no issues, eh? No issues. No issues. Yeah. 
The same. I've been drinking this water for uh, about a month now. I just Have moved you? here. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah.